What's up guys, Refrano see back with another video. Today we're gonna to do a quick tank update, but also the very important uh, PAR meter that we've got from Apogee. Uh, shout out to them for letting me borrow their, their PAR meter for doing some testing on my lights. Um, like I said, these are the Illumagic X4 lights with the Vitamin E 48 inch LED bars. Um, but yeah, let's go start testing this tank. I have my wife uh, with the PAR meter. So we have the PAR meter right here. It's the MQ510, as you can see there. And then we're just gonna start testing. It's already on, basically, let's see this right here. So we have it on a stick, we have it on the wand. All we gotta do is put it in the tank to measure our PAR readings. So let's start doing that. We're gonna start on top of that rock right there in front of the Nephthia. Let's see what we're doing. So we put it in the tank. Let's see, let's get that reading. So we're reading about 150 over there. Let's just start moving it across the tank. Try not to hit any corals, please. So we're seeing 300. That's pretty much like at water level right there. I mean, yeah, we're at the water level, so that's pretty high. 300, 350. We're in the center of the tank right now. Still right above the surface level. So we're seeing about 200 right here. Um, that makes sense because there's no light in the center. So it's just hitting the indirect lights from both sides. So 200, 230. Let's move over a bit more. Let's see what we're seeing here. And then we have 350. Definitely one of the hotter spots over there, right underneath that LED light. And then let's just put it in the corner right in front of the Nethia as well. Let's see what we're seeing. So she's above the water. Yeah, that's a good spot right there. So we're seeing like 250-ish on the corner, top corner. Um, let's raise it above the water. Just raise it above the water. So above the water, we should be seeing like 500, 400, 500. Oops, 400, 500, yeah, 450. Put it towards the middle right here. See, we're seeing like 600 spike up there, like right over here under the light. So right under the light, we're seeing like 680, <laughs> 650, 680, which is pretty crazy. But dip it under the water, maybe like two inches. A little bit more, yeah, right there, it's fine. So maybe like two, under, two inches under the water, we're already going to like 400, as you can see there, as she drops lower and lower, getting less par. But yeah, did some testing yesterday, really happy with the lights, but um, let me see where else we can test. Let's test where that, that uh, candy cane is, just right next to the candy cane. So right next to the candy cane, we're seeing about 230, 220, which is pretty pretty good so far. Pretty good, actually. Um, but that's also directly right under the LED light straight down. Um, let's see where else. So let's try this SPS side. Let's see in front of that green one where we're getting. So we're seeing about 250, which is good. So SPS, I think I was reading, like, usually par of, like, 150 to 300 is perfect. 250 is right where I want those SPS to be. Um, like I said, this is gonna be more of a softy slash, you know, Recordias and Zoas over there. This side will be more SPS, so definitely interested more in this side and what that's reading. So maybe on, on top of there, a little bit lower. I guess that's fine. So we're seeing about 250 right there as well, which is perfect for the SPS. Um, I also want to test this. So you see those two green Slimers um, one of them has been in there for a while, and the other one has just been transferred out of my old tank. Let's see where that's testing. So that's about, let's see, two, I would say 250. So that's perfect. So actually, that green one has been in a tank for a while. It's been in this tank for a while, and it's been super green. So I'm interested to see in a few weeks or months to see how this green slimer colors up. Um, but yeah, the, the lights, as you can see, have been, have been proven to be effective. Let's see, let's just do one across the front. So just keep going across the front. So across the front, we're seeing about 100 to 150, um, 200, 250. So that's perfect because they're not directly under the lights, but are still getting respectable amount of par uh, for this tank, which is great. But yeah, I think we're good on testing. Thank you for that. Uh, but yeah, this is the Apogee MQ510. Um, you can get this from Bulk Free Supply. Uh, you can borrow it for, I believe, 80 bucks or 100 bucks. Um, hold on, let's give this off to you. 
Uh, but yeah, thank you. All right, we're gonna go on with the the tank tour. Let me just put this away, put it in there. Okay. All right, so tank tour, as you can saw, the PAR is reading phenomenal. This is under the Illumagic X4s and the Vitaminis. This is on their reefed, reef, uh, mixed reef preset. This is not even my set. This is not even like customized or anything. This is their preset. I didn't touch anything. I didn't adjust anything. This is just under the preset where you set it and forget it, pretty much. So if you want to copy the light output of what this looks like, it's already pretty much set on the Illumagic um, the app. But yeah, let's do a quick tank tour of what we're seeing. So I think either two days ago, uh, I found an awesome deal on some corals and definitely had to pick them up. So basically, I'm fully stocked with this tank already, sort of, but I, there's always space to put stuff. But I got a huge SPS colonies right there, as you can see. Some forest fires, some acros, some red planet, uh, or red planets. Uh, what else we got? Pocilloporas on top over there as well just a bunch of different acros all over the tank now so that's good to see uh corals are looking fine we've got the micro musas or blastos we've got the boat og bounce uh, shout out to south plains aquaculture check them out on facebook uh definitely some awesome deals to be had there uh got some acans my acan garden this red gani was pretty much dead uh in the red sea reef for 250 I am shocked and surprised that it has bounced back. As you can see, it's it's bald on top, but everything has stayed alive around the, the base of it. So happy, very happy with that. Uh, what else can I can say? Oh, the rose bubble tip anemone has finally found a spot and I couldn't be happier that it's over there. It's away from all the corals, has its own little island, and it's hopefully it'll stay there. The clownfish do go over there, so I'm very happy that they found that. So hopefully it stays. But we have a rainbow anemone on the loose, and we have another one over there. That might cause havoc, but at least the big one is staying put. Um, what else we got? Got our torch garden right here. Got the dragon soul torch. Hopefully that gets bigger. Um, what else? Some ghanis. Some alivaporas, some more torches. But yeah, the tank is looking really good. Uh, I'm probably gonna make some frags of some stuff just because stuff is already outgrowing in this tank, especially the Nephthia. Sold a few frags of them for really cheap. So if you're interested in New York, uh, definitely has some cheap frags available for you. Uh, what else can we say? We got the Flipper Edge, a uh, new product from Flipper, double sided blades on both from top and bottom. Uh, has been working really well for this tank. Also, I haven't had any coral analogy, so we will put that to the test to see if it works out. Um, what else can we say about this tank? Yeah, I think this tank is uh, is on cruise control right now. Let's do a quick peek at the sump. All right, let's see. Quick peek at the sump. So we have the Blaze Mini uh, light right there. Has been growing my mangroves. My, ang my mangroves are actually super green right now. I haven't seen them this green in a while, so I think the lights definitely do work for these. Um, I also mentioned to people that I was using the Dr. Tim's Waste Away Gels. Definitely look into those if you're trying to control your nitrates and phosphates. Uh, highly recommend those. Um, what else we got? We got the Hydros X8, XP8, and then we have the X4. Got the Reservoir for fresh water, and we are dosing all for reef with the Hydros uh, doser. Uh, and the Simplicity, Simplicity Skimmer. Simplicity Skimmer, I just cleaned it out yesterday, and it's already bubbling up again, which is great. Fantastic. Um, what else can I say? Yeah, it's around 12.30 right now. Let me see what this clock says. 12.45, so pretty much peak light times. Um, and tank is on almost cruise control. I think it is pretty much on cruise control. Um, but yeah, I think we're all set. Guys, if you have any comments, any questions, let me know. Uh, we just did a quick par meeting, par meter reading, par meeting, par meter reading. And as you can see, uh, the tank is thriving. Uh, nothing's bleached out. Nothing has, has died yet. Uh, hopefully not, but um, super helpful to know what your par readings are. Um, so definitely, if you can borrow them from your local fish store or from friends who have them, definitely worth a double check to see 
where your lights are and then you could just properly place your corals wherever you can but yeah thanks for watching if you have any comments any questions let me know appreciate you guys watching and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace